Hello peeps. So here we have a cool looking Mr. Skull and we want to make him look as good as he looks on white at the moment but on black. Initial thoughts might be to let's drag him over this way a little bit. Uh, if we press Alt and drag to copy, move him over to the black and then press Tab to get the tools back and then we'll just change him white but then we end up with this but it looks a bit like a negative and it doesn't really have the impact that we're after. Whereas what we could do with is something a bit more like this. This one is actually inverted rather than just colored white. And as you can see, it has more impact on black. And if we had a t-shirt, we'd probably prefer the one on the right. So if we zoom out, if I press F a couple of times here to get rid of the tools, so you can now see that the skull on the right is the inverted style that we're after. And uh, what we're going to cover in this tutorial is how to achieve that. So we'll start off by deleting the man on the right. And next, if we start from scratch by copying this guy by pressing Control and C. And let's open up layers by pressing F7. And what I'll do is lock the elements that we're not going to be using on the first layer. So we're just going to work on this brand new layer. So if I press Control and F, that will paste what we've copied, it'll paste it in place. So then if I drag that across to the right, and if we then press Tab again to get the tools back, and let's just change him to white. So from here, we want to copy him again. So if we press Control C and Control F to paste in place, that now gives us two sub layers on this one layer, both the same shape, both white, top one and the bottom one. And what we're gonna do is lock the top one and just work on the bottom one. Let's move the layers over to the right and zoom in on Mr. Skull. And what we wanna do is basically fill in the black parts. So the easiest way to do that, I found is to use the Shape Builder tool. You just hover over the parts. Once it's selected, it detects the parts already. You just need to click once with the left click and as long as you've got the colour selected that you want to fill in, in this case it's white, then it's very easy. So I'll just speed the vid up while I just do this. Okay, so we're all good. We filled in all the spaces with white. And if we look at the layer above and make that black, Let's have a quick look. Oops, I've still got the shape tool selected. Let's get it on the selector, make it black. There we go, that's basically our effect. That's what we're looking for. And what we want to do now is just tidy it up a little bit. So to do that, if I move over to the right so you can see what we're working with. So we have one layer underneath which is fully white. And then we have the layer on top which is black detail. From here, the black layer is broken up into all those parts that create the design. If you press Ctrl 8, it compounds the layer, just makes it into one. We'll do the same with the second sub layer. We'll open it up. Ctrl 8 does that. So now we've got two shapes, one white, one black detail. Ctrl Z to put that back. Okay, so what we want to do is knock the black color out of the white color so that it leaves us with just white and then gaps. To do that, we group both and then move over to the Pathfinder and select minus front because the black layers on top, it's seen as being in front and uh, it will take that away from the white layer. And that leaves us with the one piece vector that we're after. Drag over there. There you go. 